This has been the video for the solution to question 7 on Physics 116 Exam 1, Winter 21. And question 7 was moving into a discussion of pendula. So this time it's, the question is on a physical pendulum. So um, the period of a simple pendulum, just for reference, is 2 pi root of L over G. But once we get to a physical pendulum, we have to take into account the, in the moment of inertia of the physical pendulum. So that's I. And we also have to take, take into account uh, how far the pivot point is from the center of gravity of the uh, physical pendulum itself, so this quantity d. So we're sort of focusing in here, uh, in this particular question, on the concepts of thinking about the moment of inertia and how that sort of changes depending on the pivot point. And d, of course, will also sort of depend, on, you know, there's, a, there's one center of gravity for the object, that doesn't depend on where the pivot is, um, but how far the pivot is from the center of gravity will change depending on where you uh, place that pivot. So that's what the, the big idea is to this particular question. And this is section 14.5 in College Physics, Knight Jones and Field. So uh, let's move into the question here. So a uh, physics instructor presents a physical pendulum demonstration to his class. The instructor has a metal disc uh, of non-uniform mass. So the reason I sort of uh, I put that in there, I wanted I didn't want the, the uh, center of gravity to be at the center. I wanted a sort of a non-sort of uniform, so to move, be able to move the center of gravity away from the center of the disc and it has a diameter of d0. The figure below shows two possible pivot points, sort of at the two, two opposite sides of, uh, of the disc, A and B, and the center of gravity, Cg, of the disc, which is four-fifths of d0 from pivot point A, which means it's one-fifth of, of, of d0 from pivot point B, and that will be important. Axis of rotation for both pivots is perpendicular, so we would sort of, as if you were gonna like, take the disc and sort of hook it onto a nail, and it's led it to oscillate back and forth. When the instructor allows the disc to rotate about pivot A, the disc has a moment of inertia I0 and a, and a period of oscillation T0. The instructor then changes the pivot to pivot B. The moment of inertia about of pivot B is I0 over four, but I don't specifically tell you that the distance D is one fifth uh, of D0. And that's sort of the sort of key part of uh, certainly one of the key parts of solving the problem. Which of the following choices you know, describes the period of oscillation which the disc rotates about pivot B? So how do we compare pivot, uh, sorry, the uh, periods uh, depend on uh, from each pivot point? So let's start with um, pivot point A and thinking about the period. So uh, TA, which we're told is T0, is going to be equal to 2 pi the square root of I0 that's where we're told the moment of inertia is about uh, pivot A, divided by mg, and we're told four-fifths of d0. So I'll just simplify that somewhat. I'll bring the five up to the top. i0 divided by mg for d0. Okay, so that's what we know t0 to be equal to in terms of i0 and 4d0. I'm going to switch up the colors here, talk about uh, TB, so we're going to rotate the disc around. As I mentioned, the key uh, idea here, the distance you know, for D for pivot B is only one-fifth of D0. So TB will be equal to 2 pi. We're told in this particular case that the uh, moment of inertia uh, about pivot B is I0 over 4. So I'm going to put the I0 and then bring the 4 down. And I've got MG and I've got uh, D0 divided by 5, which I can uh, simplify somewhat. Bring that D0 over 5, the 5 will come up to the top. I have 5 I0 divided by 4 MG D0. And if we take a look at the two expressions, they're identical. So the correct answer here is that TA equals TB, or the TB both equal T0. Okay, so it just works out in such a way that the, the change in the moment of inertia and the change in the distance D give us sort of that same ratio of I over D. They both discs have the same mass, so um, the, we don't yeah, every answer will work out. We're just looking at that, the changing of I0 and not and also trying to remember that we're also changing the D when we change it to pivot B. Okay, so challenging question yeah, on physical pendulums. But yeah, I'll uh, wrap the question up there and move on to question 8.